uh, one of the things that God keep driving back at us is, is the condition of New York. If you're living in New York, you've got to be a very observant. It is reckless people live in New York and don't go to church. Amen. Did you, did you hear what I said? New York is the most explosive city on the earth. You know, sometimes you got to speak according to local and sometimes global. New York is the place that once you're living there, there's a special charge on your life. Amen. You see, this city, as I said, there's a million things to tell you. But I ask God, what is the main thing? God said to remind you here in, in, in New York that the city is marked for judgment. Yes, judgment. Judgment. Even without judgment on God's calendar for New York, the wicked of the earth have chosen the city for their attack. The wicked, if they don't choose New York, they feel they have not accomplish the climax of their evil and that's why the terrorists and the uh, and the rogue governments north korea and, uh, and, and isis and they're always threatening new york isis just had a new threat for times square this weekend glory to god and we heard as God gave the word about the unexpected effects. Hallelujah of God. Some of the unexpected. Some of the unexpected. I hear God says, I am raising up unexpected gatherers. Watch me now. For unexpected gatherings. I hear God say, get me ready to gather together unexpectedly hallelujah 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 you don't know what's gonna happen saturday coming so be careful folks live like they know that sunday gonna be normal saturday gonna be that's a reckless life just like a sinner who keep on sinning and don't know that if he die of, of, of sickness today or of a crash, he go to hell. Then he do another day. Then he do another day in that same condition. That's reckless. Are you with me, New York? Are you with me, New York? When I say New York, I mean New York and the old metro area, the old tri-state. Because New York is a different city from the rest of the world. In most cities, the metro area are the... The, the places surrounding the boroughs and whatever no new york metro is new york pennsylvania new jersey uh uh uh, uh connecticut uh, massachusetts at the new york metro area all this region listen to me is under it's not normal i wish i could communicate to you come on somebody it's not normal don't try to be like georgians don't try to be like africans don't you'll miss your work you will go to the wrong place you will draw back when you shouldn't draw back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I hear God said, one of your major tasks is to become unexpected gatherers. Because you don't know if there's going to be another Sunday. Hallelujah. I see a revelation of folks trying to find the airport and can't find it. They, they even look at it, see it, but can't find it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That, 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 that's a revelation of being cornered, being hindered, unable to move, unable to fly, unable to escape, unable to do what would be the norm to do. New York is a kind of prison. New York is like a stadium with 8 million people with two doors. The tunnel and what the bridge eh, to go to New Jersey and George Washington, two doors with a stadium of 8,000 people. New York, you have, have a plan. And the first plan is to gather. Hallelujah. Because you need an ark out of New York.
New York. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. Come with me. Come with me. It sound, it sound, it don't sound. Listen to me. Remember, from in the 90s, God prophesied on Bronx Net. Most of you forget this. That if they continue to have that, 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 that plot to persecute the church, come on, the buildings of Manhattan will come down. Come on, somebody. We were not so skillful in, in ensuring we have all that footage, but just preach live on the, the station. We, we did a preach here and send the tape. Come on. We went right on the station, right in the station, and prophesy, oh my God, that you have a plot to persecute the church. And if you don't stop, come on, somebody, the buildings of Manhattan will go down. Hallelujah. At the, at the core of it is the end time arc, is the last arc. The things that are about to happen, you need to be in this arc. And we cannot be selfish. We have got to gather. Hallelujah. The people into the ark. This Sunday, church, fool your church. Hear me. This Sunday, Fill your church. There's so much. Fill your church. Go and gather them. Don't be selfish. Go get it. Quit the excuses. Go gather them. Stand up, everybody. Go gather them. Go gather them. I don't know what else to tell you. Go go gather them. In the nineties. In the 90s, God gave the prophecy of the buildings coming down in Manhattan. Not only that, on the Saturday before, the actual theory now, you were in Times Square telling them a major evil is about to come on the earth. Are you listening? Some of the unexpected gatherers. 2012, God gave the prophecy of Sandy Superstorm. Hallelujah. We did not only, I'm not talking about New York right now. We did not only prophesy, we told you to be prepared. Make sure you have a few hundred dollars in the roof, symbolically. That's New York. And we saw what happened. Over half a million houses damaged or destroyed. Hallelujah. In New York and the tri state area. Are you there, somebody? Only a few weeks ago, right here, God prophesied that there was going to be a major truck terror in New York. Come on, somebody. We said New York, am I right? Come on, somebody. And it came. But listen to me. God gave a revelation of a major judgment coming. When the thing happened with the with the ramming of the people in, in Manhattan, I thought this could have been it. But the Lord says that's not it. There's a major judgment coming to New York. Judgment, judgment, judgment. I don't know when it's going to manifest, but I can tell you this. In Revelation 17 and 18, it speaks of a city that's going to be judged by God. Even the very scholars of prophecy, or eschatology, as they say in the, in, in the seminaries, most believe it's New York. Because there is no, we live Revelation 17 when you go home. There is no city on the earth like that. A major judgment is coming. I don't know when, but you've got to be ready. And not only be ready with yourself, but ready with your neighbors. Ready with your friends. Ready with your family. 
hallelujah as unexpected listen don't wait until the great gathering in january we don't know what new york gonna be by that time begin to gather right now listen to me new york gatherers go and gather that by the time it comes to the great gathering it can't hold here come on just want to let you go glory to god if you want to be an unexpected gatherer let's gather at the altar there's an anointing that god is releasing oh there's so much more there's so much more hallelujah make a decision you see this weekend you see this sunday come on i'm gonna make my mark hallelujah to try and they don't come that's up to them that's okay but i'm gonna make my mark god is anointing me as a gatherer now many have been anointed already as uh, as gatherers but that is general this is unexpected it means that come on you can be called in a hour time to fill the church come on from from bible times there were times when there was impromptu calls we only accustomed to the to the normal calls and and timing for service i'm not talking about that i mean that anointing is upon you that you can you can blow the trumpet in the bible day oh in the bible days when they gather in the people together they blow a trumpet the louder it blow is the quicker they must respond the louder sometimes the, uh, sometimes the more frequent the blow Are you there? so i'm talking about the unexpected god told moses to tell the people to gather themselves amen in the houses and put the blood on the lintel because they don't know when did that angel gonna pass whoa god 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 come on but this time this gathering call is not to our houses where is it this gathering call is to his house come on somebody here say amen people say amen people say amen people amen you struggle with it you struggle with it that's why god gave the word for it you struggle if it was easy already god wouldn't say nothing because you, you would just do it as second nature woo, woo. god is releasing amen this call and this anointing because it ain't easy how oh, am i gonna bring them up bishop i always inviting them and they're not coming out they always been speaking against the church listen to me amen they're gonna realize when trouble come they're gonna vindicate you they're gonna thank you when i came back here after sunday after sunday because i was in jamaica when sunday hit come on somebody and when i came back hey man i couldn't even stand up everybody come hug me bishop thank you thank you thank you for telling us and we were well prepared Hallelujah. even my neighbor was i was offering gas come on and i wasn't even here come on someone i came i, I saw my neighbor with a little with a little can like a like a teacup like a tea like, like a, what they call what they put the tea in at the cup the, the kettle and not small enough kettle and the kettle usually put in gas in her car i said no 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 i can help you amen because we were prepared come on somebody come on come on come on come on come on don't take this normal don't take this regular it's about to come it's about to happen but god have unexpected gathering gatherers the devil can't shock us come on somebody we come on somebody we're not going to be taken unawares we are ready you ain't saying amen you're not saying amen come on you ain't saying amen my god my god my god and hear me now hear me now just gather them just gather them gather them god said gather them gather them gather them gather them and god said listen to me many won't understand till it happened because the, the, the thing with a prophet a prophet make no sense until it happened ah come on somebody a prophet is not vindicated until it happened he's criticized and mocked i said what is he talking about till when it happened they come looking for you and want another prophet so you're not going to please people you're not going to people to like you but you're going to gather them tell them i'm gathering come on into the ark of god's revival trouble about to come especially if you're in new york area i come to gather you please come please come to church please come some are saved you must still gather them because they have to be a part of the revival father in your hand right now i place your people 
anoint them Lord rebuke the spirit of tradition I rebuke fear I rebuke every stronghold of the enemy I break it in the name of Jesus hallelujah and I release the unexpected gathering anointing if you haven't received it right now in the name of Jesus say after me in the name of Jesus I reject normalcy and routine and custom in the name of Jesus and I receive the unexpected gathering anointing upon my life in Jesus name open the mouth in Jesus name I receive it